Andy Katz here for NCAA.com and March Madness at a look at why the Big 12 has had so much success. And there really is a chance that the Big 12 could get eight of 10 teams in the NCAA tournament. Oklahoma State not eligible, and Kansas State's probably the other one that probably wouldn't make it. Just take a look. In talking to a number of coaches in the league, there are a few major factors as to why the Big 12 has had so much success. First off, defense. There is a focus and a versatility in the way that all these teams defend. Basically, they force the opposing offense to be a little bit stagnant when they're out of the conference. And in conference, the games are very physical. It's a physical brand of offense. They're disciplined. These teams don't take bad shots. The quality of coaching. Think about this. You've got national championship coaches now in Bill Self and Scott Drew, Kansas and Baylor. You've got coaches who have coached in the Final Four. Bob Huggins, Chris Beard, Bruce Weber, Porter Mosier. And then you've got highly successful coaches from a previous stop like Jamie Dixon, who took Pitt to a number one seed. And there's no question that T.J. Otzelberger, Mark Adams, and Mike Boynton, especially last season, have been a big hit in their new gigs. The home courts, Kansas, Iowa State, West Virginia, Oklahoma State, Kansas State, and most recently Baylor and Texas Tech, that is almost the entire league, has a tremendous home court advantage. Great crowd, fan support, enthusiasm, led certainly by Kansas and Iowa State. West Virginia is not too far behind. Scheduling. Big 12 teams go out and play people. Non-conference with their agreements with the Big East, the SEC, playing in tournaments, and overall even within the region. They've done a great job in scheduling. And then just look at on-court success recently and especially this season. Legitimately, Kansas could be a one seed. Baylor could be a one seed. After that, you've got a team like Texas Tech that could make a deep Final Four run. Texas still has not reached its potential. Iowa State, off to a great start, still very dangerous. And never, ever, ever dismiss West Virginia and Bob Huggins. This league is off the charts good. Yes, they're losing Texas and Oklahoma within a couple of years, but adding basketball-rich programs, even though it was a football move in Houston, BYU, Cincinnati, and an up-and-comer in UCF. Big 12's not going anywhere. It's still going to continue to get a high percentage of teams in the NCAA tournament. And this year, may not get eight, won't be shocked at all if it at least gets seven out of ten.